40 and 8. Psalms 40 and 8. So uh he brought out some very valid points, right? And we trying to get our people to come on, come on in and join us and get and gather the people in, right? For destruction come to America, right? Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. Thy law is within my heart. What's your name, bro? Maurice, Maurice, do you know what sin is? What, what is sin? What's the biblical definition of sin? See, this is very important, right? Because we delight to do thy will. God's law is in thy heart, right? So we got what, we, what us black people and us and Hispanics and Native Americans don't understand. They don't understand what sin is from, from, from the uh, jump, right? So read what you got. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, right? So if you break God's law, then you're sinning, Maurice. You understand that? We sin it. That's what they that's what we tell out here to tell our people today because we are the people, we are the biblical Israelites, right. and we went into slavery. Hey, check this out, Maurice. We went into slavery, bro, because of sin. Because we chose sin over God, that's why this happened to us right here. You understand that? You do the 28 and start at 15. Because everything that our people went through, the, the whipping out of us, a man's back right here, the whole us, us ships right here, and uh, the beating of the woman right here, and, and getting the children's soul right here. Don't you know, uh, you, do you know, you know anything about slavery? You know, you know about slavery though, right? Okay, so the reason why all this happened is because we are the children of Israel and we disobey God. He gonna, he, he gonna read it for you, get, uh, get, read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we don't listen to the law, the voice of the Lord thy God, then this is going to happen. Check this out. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these curses, what he about to read is what happened right here. The curses that the Israelites suffered for disobedient, for disobeying God, right? Read. Curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Verse 16. Go straight to 68. Because he's going to tell, tell you about the curse that you're looking at right now, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt is synonymous with bondage. The word Egypt means bondage, okay? Read. Again with ships. You see that right there? With ships right there, see? We read the Bible. We reading out of the Bible that we're gonna go into slave ships out of the Bible. Have you ever heard of the Chinese when you got dressed in Maurice? I was gonna ask you, have you ever heard or seen any visuals of the Chinese man getting loaded onto slave ships going into slavery? What about the Indian man with the with the red dot, the women with the red dots on their head? The people over there in India. Going to silk and stuff. Have you ever heard of them going into slave ships? Who 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 have you heard going into slave ships other than the black people, Hispanic people, and Native Americans? Have you heard of anybody else? Nah, it ain't, it ain't nobody else to go that went to slave ships. Cause see what what it is is this Bible. Get a uh, verse forty six. Get verse forty six. Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight and verse forty six. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. These curses are going to be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, Maurice. They, they're going, they, they own us to let you know that, uh, and to be an identity marker. To let you know that these curses are only pertaining to the children of Israel. That's right. That's what that, that's what that, but read that verse again. Listen to this verse, Maurice, real quick. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And for a wonder. The curse is going to be upon us for a sign and for a wonder. So when you sit back and think of, damn, why is this happening to our people? Why are our people always in the slums and the ghetto? Why are our people always trapping in the hood selling each other dope? Why is always baby daddy and baby mama? Why we always got a game bang? 
Why we, we got, always got to hang at a car wash, try to uh, watch somebody car to get some dollars or something? These are curses. When you think about this, the law said, read it again. <laughs> They should be upon us for a sign and for a wonder, Maurice. Yes, you see what I'm saying? You see what the Bible's saying? That's, that's how you know that this Bible is talking to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's how you know this Bible is for you. Get 48. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall... 40, 47, 47. 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. How we were supposed to serve the Lord, we were supposed to keep his commandments. When we kept his commandments, he was going to make us abundant. He was going to give us uh, money. He was going to give us good health. He was going to give us rulership. But we didn't want to listen to the Lord thy God. We wanted to serve other gods, and so now we're suffering these curses. So read, so, so listen, it's going it's to get more specific, read. For the abundance of all things. We had all things when we was listening to the Lord, read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee. So we're going to serve the enemies who the Lord shall send against thee. So if we serve a people, who did the black people serve in slavery? White people. Read it again. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, your friends, thine enemies, your companion, thine enemies, who slay us. So they are what? That's what I was just saying. They are enemies. They're not our friends. They're going to never be our friends. We're going to never be able to go to them and get real love from them. Because they hate your guts. Because they know you are due in inheritance. They know you are the biblical Israelite. They know you is a king, Maurice. This place belongs to you. You, you, you supposed to be ruling ship under Christ with all, the, with all the earth. Read. And the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. In hunger and in thirst. You see them people running in and out of the store. The white man is selling them uh, 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 food and drink. They selling them, they selling, they selling them that because without them, we wouldn't even be able to get it because they done took over all the land. We can't, we can't even go. All this land is ours. We can't pick out a spot on in the land and drop a seed and grow our own food. We can't have our own cattle. What they did, they took all that and gave us stores and made us have to come to them to get it. Right? Read. And in once of all things. Read that part again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst. In hunger and in thirst, that's why we got to go to the stores, read. And in nakedness. This, now, now when we want clothes, where we got to go? We got to go to Walmart. Got to go to the mall if you got a little bit more money. You know what I'm saying? This, it, it, this, it, do you get it, though? This is biblical prophecy, man. This happened to us, man. We got to go to them. Read. And in want of all things. We got to go to them in want of all things. If we want to bury our loved ones, we got to go to them to bury our loved ones. If we want to, uh, if, if we would need insurance, they, we got to go to them for them to tell us that they covering us now. If we get sick, we got to go to the hospital. We got to go to them and want for all things, Maurice. All things. It's not supposed to be this way. They're supposed to come to us. Verse 12. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 12. Because this is because they're supposed to come to us. Listen. The Lord shall open unto thee this good treasure. This is we listen to the Lord. If we didn't listen to the Lord, the opposite was going to happen. But if we do listen to the Lord, this is what's going to happen. Really. The heaven to give the rain unto thy land in its season. And to bless all work of thine hand. 
That's all the work of our hand, Maurice. That's what we. That's what we're supposed to be at in life. That's supposed to be us. That's our, our inheritance, and they know that. That's why they make sure that we hate each other. That's why they make sure that we kill each other. That's why when he told you that the uh the uh we gotta look out for the, the youngsters, this is why because if we don't, this is what's gonna happen to the youngsters. Listen. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. You hear that, Maurice? The children are harder on us. They don't respect us. They don't respect us because we ain't teaching them nothing. Only thing we're teaching them is how to go to the kitchen and cook the dope up. We're not teaching them how to be productive in a community. We're not teaching them that they're supposed to uh, love their own uh, uh, women. We teaching them. We we asked we ask little uh, little Chuck them. Oh, you ain't got no girlfriend, boy. What you doing, boy? He little Chuck them be talking about something. I do. I got two girlfriends. We training them for fornication. We training them to hold out their own sisters. That's right. You see what I'm saying? You see how it works? Read it again. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. That's why they got single parent homes with just women and no men. Because they make sure because the children are the oppressors. The children, when they grow up to be young men, they in prison. You know. <laughs> they in prison, so the woman is left to raise little Chuck them on her own. She don't know how to raise no damn man. She ain't no man. You know what I mean? Uh, she, uh, 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 her mama raised her. She didn't have no daddy. She destroyed. She thinks she's supposed to uh, wear the pants in the house. Right. They start with us. That's why. That's why. That's why Maurice. That I'll praise to the Most High God. Give uh, Proverbs twenty twenty four of man's going. Uh, because that's why you here right now. Because you've been sitting here listening, man. You like to spell sleepy. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But you sitting up here listening because you know it's good, right? You know what I'm saying? You you know that you know what we what we bringing out the Bible is the truth, right? So so what we need what what you supposed to be doing now is what read Proverbs chapter twenty and verse twenty four. Man's goings are of the Lord. The man's goings is of the Lord. The reason why you're here because the Most High God brought you here. That's right. The Most High God brought you here so you will understand what we need to do to get out this situation. You know? And I know you care because you're still right here. Right. You know what I'm saying? But Luke 14, 23. Luke 14, 23. I'm going to show you what we out here doing right now. You know? This is what you got to be doing. This is what you're supposed to be doing because you understand you are now you're understanding just by standing here right now, you're becoming wiser than, than, than most people that we run into. Read. The book of Luke, chapter 14, and verse 24. Verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out unto the highways and hedges. But it's the highways and the hedges right here, Maurice. That's what that's a commandment from the most high God, man. To do what the most high God told us to do is come out here and teach our people to wake our people up. That's what we're supposed to be doing. The day is the Lord's Sabbath day, and we're supposed to honor him on his day and keep his commandments on and, and, and teach the people to keep his commandments. So we can get out of this condition. You know what I'm saying? Because if we don't, if we don't uh hearken to the words that's in this Bible, then we ain't gonna never understand what we're supposed to be doing. We still gonna keep on thinking that our ways are the right ways when they not. You see what I'm saying? We see what the Bible talking about? Read. And compel them to come in. Compel our people to come in and serve the most high God. Come on in, black man. Come on in, black woman. Come on in, Hispanic man and Hispanic uh, uh, woman. Come on in, Native American man and Native American woman. Come on in and serve the most high God like we're supposed to be doing as Israelites. Zephaniah 2 and, 20, uh, 2 and 1. That's what we're supposed to be doing, Maurice, man. You know what I'm saying? So look, man. We got to get out of the mentality that we in and come back to uh, our nationality and be kings that the Most High God wanted us to be. What's the today? The Sabbath day. The day the Sabbath day. I'm going to get you. Okay, yeah, let's get on that. We're going to get on that soon. Now, get, to, uh, get Zephaniah 2 and 1, and then I'm, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you what we're supposed to be doing as Israelites on the Lord's Sabbath day, okay? Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. 
Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation not desired. We all the nation is not desired. Read. Before the decree bring forth. For the decree bring forth, that mean when, them, when it's about, the, about time for the, the Lord, uh, for God to send the son. Read. Before the day pass as the chaff. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Ooh, boy, hey, come on in, Maurice, man. You don't want to be, you don't want to be subjugated to that. Man. Yes. You don't want to be subjugated to it. Nuclear destruction is coming to America. Yes. Nuclear destruction is coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma, bro. Yes. This place is not going to stand. It's all going to burn to the ground. Yes. I'm telling you, real talk. <laughs> Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.